Hi everyone, this is Dries in Well. Today we have an exciting video for you. It's regarding the Minius from HX90. We will power it with a bench power supply that can provide 380 watt. So, and we will see the outcome from using a bench power supply. So yeah, stay with tuned with us and we'll see the result. All right, so now we're gonna start with uh, Cinebench R23. All right, and also you can see in the left up corner, you will see the, the reading from the bench power supply. So uh, yeah, so this application will stress the CPU so that we can see how much power can drain from the power supply. All right, I will start right now. So yeah, it's done and as you can see um, on our voltmeter on the top right corner, the maximum like 115 watt and this is um, stock uh, configuration. We didn't do any modification or change. Uh, so yeah, uh, that tells you the power supply that was provided by the manufacturer is enough. You don't have to worry about it whatever they provided in it is 120 watt. so now we will overclock it and see how far we can push it so let's start on that so for the overclocking i will be using Renar mobile tuning and this is our configuration so yeah so let me start i already applied the setting so let me go to cinebench r23 and start the the stress So the result was interesting. We were able to uh, get 120, 131 watt from the power supply, uh, and also uh, we scored a little bit higher uh, on the performance. So it was pretty good. Our conclusion is that the power supply that was provided from the manufacturer, it's decent. Also, something else to point out is that. Also, the temperature went up slightly, but it's it went up. So, just I want to mention that. So, our conclusion was that uh, the manufacturer design was adequate with the provided power supply, and this is a uh, really a plus. So, nothing to worry about. You know, pushing a little bit your unit, uh, nothing to worry about. At least if you want to go crazy like us, but I will not recommend it. Uh, also another thing to point out configuration that we did today it was just an our own experiment so if anything went wrong you will most likely void your warranty and you have to repair the damage yourself so please don't try this if you don't know what you're doing after all this is pretty solid unit we like it a lot and uh, we hope to see something else 
from uh, Minis Forum uh, in the near future. Thank you so much for tuning in and please leave any comments or questions uh, and we will do our best to answer. So have a great day.